Well, it's Miller time. I'm going with big boy. That's about all I have in me. Cheers. Happy the most Mondayest Tuesday that could ever be felt. It's Tuesday, it's 5th of September. Uh, it's 7.59, if not 8.00 p.m., day after Labor Day. Oh, that pot liquor's good. I can find about any in the reason in the world to uh, <laughs> have a celebratory beer. <clears throat> But uh, this one means a little something. Even though there's a lot of negativity behind this. Um, <clears throat> for the year that we've had. Um, dry hay is done. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. To include uh, small squares. In the history of this farm... There's never been this least amount of hay in here. <clears throat> we just got done offloading a couple loads up here. <clears throat> A lot of different scenarios going on here. There's a lot to be negative and a lot to bitch about. I'm not here to sit on this channel and do that. Um, been a tough year. Our drought, everything else. What you're seeing here, the lack of what you're seeing here, of course, is the explosion of my small square baler twice. right in the uh, peak of uh, season, I'm gonna call it. Truth of the matter is though, we, we, we've got enough feed. And when I say we, we're talking about my barn calves and bulls during the winter, and of course, dad's horses. I kind of try and like to split this up. Predominant grass is here. And then uh, anything else, or especially something with clover and alfalfa, gets over on this side because when dad comes here from some small squares he just simply offloads them off here on his side by side and takes them home you know five six seven eight bales at a time <coughs> me <clears throat> if i need to throw a bunch of hay down <clears throat> and stockpile for a week or so or whatever it might be i uh, i throw them down this chute so yeah that's kind of dad's side this is mine so I tried to keep all the grass as much as I can over there. So we've got feed uh, for a couple different reasons. Number one, dad has, <laughs> has agreed <clears throat> to uh, try out the old, uh, how are we gonna say it? The, the, the tub and net thing for, uh, for his horses. Long story short, there's going to be about 15 of the most primest grass round bales that money can't buy reserved for him uh, undercover in the machine shed. So that's going to take a, a quite a bit of uh, this lacking. Now for me, and I haven't showed you this yet, but uh, of course I had all those large squares of alfalfa made. Well, what's going to happen... <clears throat> I've got some hay to use up, don't get me wrong. But this year, now this is going to go bye-bye in a little bit. Hay making's over, but I'm not done with the elevator yet. I've got about four loads of uh, oat straw to uh, shoot up here and pile up. What's going to happen this year is I'm simply going to take probably two bales at a time. Uh, the large squares of alfalfa, and they're going to be set here naturally and thrown down this chute. That's going to take care of my needs 
also with what I have there. So, yeah, pretty irky jerky year. <clears throat> Our drought, Mother Nature, was not kind to us. We're not going to sit here and keep bitching about it. Between that and the small square baler, there, there should be about another 3,000 bales here. If not 4,000. Just wasn't in the cards this year for reasons I've already spoken of. But we're going to make it adapt and change the best that we can due to circumstances, and that's what we're doing. But yeah, it's a celebration here today, even with all the negativity <clears throat> that we can't keep dwelling on. I know I can't, not in my life. <laughs> if I was to do that, I'd be dead in another year. A um, lot to be positive about. I remember growing up. Now I'm going to get a little... Uh, sentimental on you when haying season was deemed over done i can strictly remember <clears throat> dad having a cold beer and only one either at the dinner table and we all knew why it was a celebration either at the, the dinner table that day or that evening once the, you know, the last load was put up. So I guess that's kind of what I'm doing here. If you can make that make sense. Um, yeah, dry hay making is over. So what does that mean? I failed you in any videos yesterday. I actually spit out a lot of round bales yesterday. <coughs> You'll see that in a video that I haven't posted yet um, I don't know it's been a tough fucking year I'm gonna tell you that right now I'm sorry about my language no need to talk like that it's been a tough year you adapt to changes and that's what we did here this is two years in a row I don't care for a third Dry hay making is over. I've only got one product left, and it's looking fantastic. I will bring you out there very much sooner than later. It is my second regrowth of the sorghum, um, <clears throat> which per calendar... We're talking about uh, within 20 days, needs to be knocked down. We'll see what happens. It's looking real healthy. We got a big shot of rain coming. Uh, it's supposed to start in about three hours, and it's going to go for uh, half of all day tomorrow. Between that, some of the high heat that we had, some somewhat pleasant days to come, that second regrowth of elf, uh, uh, sorghum, should be a good thing but uh i'm kind of rambling on now which i do very good job at and uh i'm just here to kind of show you the hay mow for this year <coughs> i'm a little embarrassed um a lot of it's out of my control some of it's out of my control this is the least amount of hay that's ever been in this hay loft in history, period, end of story. That makes me feel a little, a little shitty. But we can only do what we can do. Comes down to it, we have to be grateful, I guess, for what's here. And grateful that there's plan B's. Like for dad's horses with the tub and net system and the round bales that are under cover for him. Um, the, uh, the number of large squares of alfalfa, which I'm, 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 I'm kind of looking forward to. Um, you know, it's going to cost me a lot more work. Who gives a shit? My time ain't worth a damn thing. <clears throat> um, you know, forking it down, big leafs and stuff. It's, there, there's a plan B for everything. 
and uh, that that seems to be the nature of this year. And uh, that's it. I, I'm done mumbling. Here's your little hayloft tour. Not a whole lot to brag about, but uh, we're going to be just fine. Adapt and overcome. There's nothing else to say. So. That's it, folks. Okay, what's on the burner from here on out? <clears throat> Not a whole lot. Uh, of course, I talked about the second regrowth of uh, sorghum. We'll see what that's going to be come harvest time. Could be two feet, could be four, could be five, could be six. I doubt six. I'm being a little generous right now. Uh, and then it's uh, then it's cattle time. You know we're 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 creeping up on we're a little we're a ways away, but we're creeping up on weaning. We're creeping up on me heading out to the yard in the evenings, doing some judging. What am I keeping back for the heifers? What can be kept back? How are the kept back bulls doing? Uh, steers. What's going to be shipped this uh, November, December at, the, at a feeder sale for steers? What needs to be kept? What needs to be put in the barn? You know, the list goes on and on. So we're coming up that time of year. We're coming up on firewood time of year. The weather is changing. You can feel it in the air. Speaking the obvious, um, we've hit September. I'm looking for this year to be over with. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm looking for fall, dead of fall coming up. And uh, everything's going to just be just fine. <sighs> One way or another. And uh, we'll go from there. That's it, folks. We got a beautiful, beautiful evening here. I'm going to go for a very small ride, maybe 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna settle down into the house and make a little dinner and put on an old western. Enjoy life just a little bit. It's a proud day today. Uh, dry hay making is done. So. Talk to you sooner or later. It's Miller time. <laughs>